Well, it's my Friday, and um, it's about a little after midnight. But I'm done with swing shift, onto the weekend, and then back to my normal. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. I I think I could get used to anything, but I'm glad I don't have to get used to that. All right. Anyway, where I left off, and oh, by the way, I made a drunk ass stupid mistake. Uh, Paul got struck blind on the road to Damascus, not Antioch. <laughs> uh, I'm not a scholar and uh, don't have an encyclopedic memory like some folks. I envy those folks, but I'm not trying to do their type of video. <laughs> this is pretty much spontaneity. <laughs> I believe the angel was harping at him. So, let's see. And great was their astonishment uh, that they fell to the earth. That's uh, Alma Jr. and Mosiah's boys, I think, and maybe some other sinners. <laughs> they fell to the earth and understood not the words which he spake unto them, the angel. Nevertheless, he cried again, saying, So... Yeah, they made the angel repeat himself. I think I've covered this. All right, well, fuck it. Uh, i got to start somewhere. Saying, Alma, arise and stand forth. For why persecuteth thou the church of God? For the Lord hath said, This is my church, and I will establish it, and nothing shall overthrow it, save it is the transgression of my people. And since he knows everything that's going to happen, he knows he doesn't have to give the prize away. <laughs> he knows someone's going to screw it up. <laughs> and again the angel said, Behold, the Lord hath heard the prayers of his people and also the prayers of his servant Alma. Senior. <laughs> who is thy father? <laughs> For he has prayed with much faith concerning thee that thou mightest be brought to the knowledge of, of the truth. Yeah, I've covered all this. Oh, well, <laughs> sorry. Therefore, for this purpose, I have come to convince thee of the power and authority of God and the prayers of his servant might be answered according to their faith. So, you know, you got to really feel the force to do the Jedi tricks. <laughs> Otherwise, just stay a farmer, Luke. <laughs> I wasn't talking about the Bible, that was Star Wars. Uh, and now behold... Can ye dispute the power of God? <laughs> For behold, doth not my voice shake the earth? Well, nothing's happening right now except, you know, I'm stifling a yawn. <laughs> this book is useful after all. Everybody just get a cheap copy of this and read it and it will put you out. Mark Twain said, chloroform in print. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better. Nobody could have. <sighs> His autobiography is bitching. It's, it's awesome. <sighs> For behold, doth, my, doth not my voice shake the earth? And can ye not also behold me? Can ye not... Also behold me before you, Hillbilly Shakespeare, and I am sent from God. Now I say unto thee, go and remember the captivity of thy fathers in the land of Helam. <laughs> and in the land of Nephi, and remember how great things... Uh, 
how great things he, it's still uncapitalized he, and they're talking about God, has done for them, for they were in bondage, and he has delivered them. Those guards getting drunk kind of helped too. <laughs> and now I say unto thee, that's how that's how uh, Lehi bit it. <laughs> Just happened to be drunk in the street. Chop off his head. <sighs> and now I say unto thee, Alma, go thy way and seek to destroy the church no more, that th their prayers may be answered. And this, even if thou wilt thyself be cast off. And now, uh, it's a little sweet. It's kind of nice, but it's also kind of like, like you're drinking NyQuil or something, but more of a I don't know, amaretto kind of cough syrupy. It's kind of interesting. Definitely warms you up. And now it came to pass that these were the last words which the angel spake unto Alma, and he departed. I forgot if I drank. Besides, I'll have another one anyway. There's two more in this chapter, unless I missed one. <coughs> oh, that was good. Ah. Uh, which, you know, was the last words he spake to them, uh, to Alma, and he departed out of the, back in that fluffy cloud. And now Alma and those that were with him fell again to the earth. They got up. And as soon as the angel left, it's like someone cut their strings. <sighs> they fell to the earth. For great was their astonishment. For, <laughs> for with their own eyes they had beheld an angel of the Lord. And his voice was as thunder which shook the earth, and they knew that there was nothing save the power of God that could shake the earth and cause it to tremble as though it would pull asunder. <laughs> ah, someone should be playing some banjo music right about now, and the juice harp, and blowing on the jug. Yeah, that's all right. I gotta apologize. I that's stereotypical. I'm thinking about movies. Yeah, those Ma and Pa kettle shit, you know. Right in Shakespeare. And now the astonishment of Alma was so great that he became dumb. Alright, shades of Uriah, um John the Baptist dad, that he could not open his mouth. Yeah, that's Book of Luke, right? Yea, and he became weak, even that he could not move his hands. Therefore he was taken by those that were with him, and carried helpless, even until he was laid before his father. A little violin would be cool right about now. And they rehearsed unto his father, all that had happened unto them, and his father rejoiced. 
I bet. For he knew that it was the power of God. Just getting ready. And he caused that a multitude should be gathered together that they might witness what the Lord had done for his son. Thanks, Dad. And also for those that were with him. And he caused that the priests should assemble themselves together, and they began to fast and to pray to the Lord their God, that he would open the mouth of Alma, that he might speak. And also, that's Alma Jr. Uh, <laughs> I guess you're following. Uh, and also, that his limbs might receive their strength. <laughs> that the eyes of the people might be opened to see and know of the goodness and glory of God. Mm. Too much. And it came to pass, after they had fasted and prayed for the space of two days and two nights, the limbs of Alma received their strength, and he stood up and began to speak unto them, bidding them to be of good comfort. For, for he said, I have repented of my sins and have been <laughs> redeemed of the Lord. Redeemed of the Lord. Behold, I am born of the Spirit. And they capitalize the S in Spirit. Strange the choices they make. But they don't capitalize Yahweh. And the Lord said unto me, Marvel not that all mankind, yea, men and women, All nations, kindreds, tongues, and people might be born again. Yay! <laughs> born of God. Changed from their carnal and fallen state to a state of righteousness, being redeemed of God, Becoming his sons and daughters. Why not say they're his children? That would be quicker. You're writing on gold. Sorry, I promise not to bitch about that anymore, but I'm, you know I'm still going to do it. It's written on gold. <laughs> I'd be finding ways to cut corners here, you know. And thus... They became new creatures, and unless they do this, they can in no wise inherit the kingdom of God. I say unto you, unless this be the case, they must be cast off. And this I know because I was like to be cast off. Nevertheless, after wandering through much tribulation, <laughs> oh, you protest too much, sweetheart, <laughs> you precious little delicate flower. Fuck you! 
tribulation. You're an idolater. Fuck you. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Through much tribulation, repenting nigh unto death, <laughs> the Lord in mercy hath seen fit to snatch me out of an everlasting burning, and I am born of God. My soul hath been redeemed from the gall of bitterness the, and the bonds of iniquity. <laughs> I was in the darkest abyss, but now I behold the marvelous light of God. My soul was racked with eternal torment, but I am snatched and my soul is pained no more. Actually, you know, verse 29, that's almost kind of sort of poetic. I'm trying real hard to be nice. <coughs> I rejected my Redeemer and denied that which I, which had been spoken of but by our fathers. But now that they may foresee that he, uncapitalized, will come. Who's this he guy who's uncapitalized? He's obviously not divine or royal if he's uncapitalized, right? He, lowercase. <laughs> uh that he will come, and that he remembereth every creature of his creating. He, uncapitalized, will make himself uncapitalized, manifest unto all. Yay! Every knee shall, shall bow, and every tongue confess before him. Yay! Even at the last day, which is coming up real quick. And what is it? May 21st? I guess. <laughs> I've got other plans. <laughs> That's cool, though. Maybe the parking situation will get better. And housing, man. Pick up a house real cheap. <laughs> Every cre creature of his creating, he will make himself manifest unto all. Okay. Oh, anytime. Yay! Even at the last day, will all man, when all men, sh men shall stand to be judged of him, then shall they confess who live without God in the world. It's the only world I've been in. If I've been in the astral plane, I, I wasn't aware of that. It was a dream to me. <laughs> what I'm saying is, this is the only world I know about, except dream worlds and the worlds of books and movies and shit and cool stuff. All right. I'm going to pour out another drink. It's coming up. <sighs> in the world that the judgment of an everlasting punishment is just upon them. Is it really? Because God decreed it, it's just. And there is no appeals court. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm kind of scared of Voden also. I think he's pissed at me too if he's real. And a bunch of other deities. Because I think I've disrespected all of them. I do disrespect all of them. And I've got the same birthday as Buddha. You know, so. And I mean, come on. How do you spend your life contemplating inner truths? If they're, if everyone was doing that, then who would they be getting food from? You know, I mean, <laughs> there wouldn't be any farmers or anything to give them rice so they can go back and contemplate their navels. Uh, <laughs> although, I guess I don't want to piss this off too much because I, I kind of like them. Uh, you know, you can be a Buddhist atheist, I guess. Maybe I'll try that sometime. I did do, try Hinduism, you know, Paramahansa, Yogananda, and all that shit. But I, I'll, I'll go into that some other time. Uh, uh, my soul hath been redeemed from the gall of, of bitterness and the bonds of iniquity. I was in the darkest abyss, but now I behold the marvelous light of God. My soul was racked with eternal torment. Eternal? Eternal torment. That's verse 29 of the Mosiah 27. Alma Jr. thinks he's been suffering for an eternity. Then how is it he's speaking of it as past tense, if it's an eternity? An, an, an e eternity. Shit, I think I'm drunk again. Uh, um, oh, eternal torment. But I am snatched. And my soul is pain no more. That's right. Verse 29. I liked it. And then I guess I had a somehow lost track. Verse 30. I rejected my Redeemer and denied that which had been spoken of by our fathers. But now that they may be that they may foresee that he will come and that he remembereth every creature of his creating, he will make himself manifest to all. Yea, every knee shall bow. <clears throat> and every tongue confess before him. Yay, even at the last day, when all men shall stand and be judged of him, then they shall confess that he is God. Then shall they confess who live without God in the world, that the judgment of an everlasting punishment is just upon them. Fuck you. <laughs> if this crazy shit is true, I think I would suffer from cognitive dissonance instead of the other way around. <laughs> and they shall quake and tremble and shrink before the glance of the all-searching eye. Isn't that a Masonic symbol? Just wonder. All-searching eye. Hmm. And now, it came to pass that Alma, Jr., 
began from this time forward to teach the people. And those who were with Alma at the time the angel appeared unto them, unto them. <laughs> Traveling round about through all the land, publishing to all the people the things which they had heard and seen, and preaching the word of God in much tri wait in much tribulation being greatly persecuted by those who were unbelievers being smitten by many of them but notwithstanding all this they did impart much consolation to the church, confirming their faith and exhorting them with long suffering and much travail, and to keep the commandments of God. And four, four of them were the sons of Mosiah, and their names were. Ammon, and Aaron, and Omner, and Himni. Wait, Himni. Himni. <laughs> Don't name your kid that, please. Himni. <laughs> oh my, Himni. Himni, Himni. <laughs> oh, him die. Him die. I don't know where the fuck I am. All right. Him die. Him die. These were the names of the son of Mosiah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> This is going to be pathetic if I can't finish this chapter. <laughs> Sons of Messiah. And they traveled to all the land of Zerah Himlach. <laughs> and among all the people who were under the reign of King Mosiah. And they traveled through all the land zealously striving to repair all the injuries which they had done to the church, confessing all their sins and publishing all their, and publishing all the things which they had seen. <coughs> I, don't know where, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> and explaining the prophecies and the scriptures to all who desired to hear them. Now, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> and thus, they were instruments <laughs> in the hands of God, bringing many to the knowledge of the truth. Yay! We're almost done. <laughs> to the knowledge of their Redeemer, which they do capitalize. What the fuck, people? Explain that to me.
please. And how blessed are they? Oh, ex exclamation point. How blessed are they? <laughs> For they did publish peace. And they did publish good tidings of good. <laughs> and they did declare unto the people the Lord. Wait, people that the Lord reigneth. Jesus Christ. This one was a real ball breaker. <laughs> I'll see you guys in chapter 28 of Mosiah. Peace the fuck out. And have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having at the moment.